Now what we have here is a diagram of Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Now many of you might be getting this in psych class. It's something that I learned a lot about in NIC and constantly as I went through grad school they always referred to this. Now it ties greatly into motivation and as a leader that's one of your key positions is to motivate whether you're a manager or a leader. Now it's good to understand this because uh, people are driven by their needs and their motivations. Now here on the basic need level here are the physiological needs, the needs that we have to have such as air, food, water, shelter, sleep, and even sex is in there. So I guess that's one of those needs we have to have. Now as you move up the continuum, once these needs are satisfied, you can move up into the basic needs theory where you have that need for safety and security. Those needs must be met. Now moving on up there, you'll want love and belongingness. And after you've achieved those needs, then you want self-esteem and then esteem by others. And further on up here, you get into the self-actualization. You'll, you'll hear this term many times. And this is the growth needs, where uh, truth, goodness, beauty, these are true. Although they're intangible, they're needs that we need to satisfy to become richer and to guide our lives with purpose. Now, this is a very good model if you're in an organization and you're trying to implement uh, motivational factors for your people in your company, such as well, basically their paycheck at this level. Here they're able to sustain their family, buy their food, uh, pay their rent, have their shelter. So the paycheck here in the physiological needs area is met. Now up here, the safety and security, this is where you would tie in uh, retirement plans, uh, your medical and health insurance. And now love and belonging, this is where you uh, would get sort of that sense of family and organization. It's Sometimes in, in the organizational setting, this is, is really hard to achieve, but it is possible, and that's what human resource directors do. They try and get that sense of family going on, so you have that. And just up from that, that self-esteem and esteem by others, this is where you get your employee of the month awards, things like that. To, so by meeting that need, you, you feel more uh, attached to your organization and more involved and, and happier in there and more willing to stay. Now as you move up in that, and if you're getting enough uh, creativity allowed in your job, and probably as you move up to more greater positions of management, you can start to self-actualize by truly bringing in what your, your uh, inner core values are, and bringing those to the organization. You know, what you see and how you can help things uh, work better, get a better process flow by using your creativity, and sort of that sense, you get that sense of self-actualization.